Hi fellow artists and colorists, this is Amanda here for Mandy's Art. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video is going to be a haul video. My second time recording this because my camera memory uh, kind of pooped out on me because I had too many videos on the camcorder that I did not delete. So I hope that you're having a fabulous night. I am having an awesome night. I get to share with these cool, amazing coloring books with you, drawing book, and supplies. I don't have a lot of supplies because I uh, took the plunge and bought my first full set of artist grade pencils and a brand new camera mount and stuff. So most of these coloring books were bought between January and February, so this is like a two month supply haul. So let's, without further ado, get into it. This is my swatch book that I use. This is my Strathmore 400 series tone tan. So we're gonna look at the swatches here in a little bit of my, let me set that aside, Derwent, da da da, color soft pencils. I am absolutely excited about these pencils. I was going to buy them in a smaller set and then buy the rest open stock because they're open stock, but Dick Blix charges $11 for shipping. So I went over to Amazon and picked these up because of free shipping. So let's open the tin up. I gotta show you guys these. Oh, ta-da! Look at these gorgeous pencils. Now I have, excuse me, sharpened them, swatched them, and I started using them. There's 72 pencils, two trays. As you can see, I got a brown combo out of here. Um, they did very well in shipping from Amazon. I was impressed. I did have a couple of pencils that had some sharpening issues, and uh, which wasn't bad because the nice thing about this set is it is open stock, so you can replace your pencils. Um, thankfully, there's a Dick Blix about 45 minutes away from me, so I every time I go over to my sister's, I can swing over there and go pick up some extra pencils. I have been, I'll show you the swatches. I have been working on a coloring page with them, and I'm in love with these. These are definitely consider like the Black Widows, which is a harder wax. It's not the smooshy wax like Prismacolors. Yeah, I know, a lot of people are gonna hate me for saying I don't like Prismacolors because I don't, but I do like the Black Widows and the color shelves. Look at those colors, guys. Can you, like, honestly say, there aren't these cool colors. And then I've got some over here. Great start range of colors. I would have liked to see a bigger set of the color softs. Uh, maybe like a 120 set, but you know, I'm not the one who made them. I can't influence the manufacturers to make more colors. And I've got me, sorry about that guys, um, stuff. So, uh, I use tracing paper to stop the smudging in between. Um, I can't force them to make more, but with 72 colors, you've got a pretty good start. You can put some color combinations together. Um, it's just gonna take time because you only have like a limited number of reds, a limited number of each color family, so you, one of the nice things about the Derwent, because they are, are, um, they are wax based, you can mix pencils and combine them. I haven't tried uh, making some combos with the Black Widows, which has 180 in their set. Um, to get some of like the mid-tones and maybe some of the darker tones to make combos. So I'm hoping to play around with them a little more. I've only got one page working that you saw in the previous video. So I cannot give you a full review and I don't really want my channel to be about product reviews and influencing you to buy stuff. This is just stuff that I've added to my collection that I just want to show you and things that I'm happy about. So, you know, 
this channel isn't about making money. It's about making art and having fun and teaching people how to draw, how to color, um, how to use different medias. So my hope is as I am putting projects together and getting supplies, I will have more mixed media projects, a little art journaling, a little coloring. Um, I will be starting tutorials about how to draw. So let's get into transition into the coloring books. Okay, so my first one here is Gentle Nature. I was influenced by Lucy Just Colors. She showcased this on her channel, watched a color along, and seen a, and she did a little bit of a flip through of this. And the artwork in here is amazing. It is a light gray scale. It is on Amazon paper, and there is double. Um, the illustrator is Carlin Duggett Liz. Um, but just look at this. Very creative artwork. Um, she did this particular page, which sold me. Um, I loved how she did it. She did it with Prismacolor Premieres. Um, and it was, and she also did a really cool background um, with this. Had a really awesome moon stamp because she had a fluff up. But I tell you guys, just watching her color this was amazing. I just, I've never colored grayscale. I'm inspired by the art of wanting to create my own art. And part of my How to Draw series, I'm hoping that we can put some pieces together relating with portraits. And I just love how freaking imaginative this is. It's gorgeous. So, yeah. Kind of. And just... I can't tell you. Oh. Look at that kitty. That looks like it's a Siamese kitty. I have a studio buddy. His name is Toby. He's a blue Russian. But all the kitties in this book it just warms my heart because I love cats. My studio buddy's sleeping out on the couch, which is a good thing. Look at that. Even using the fruit as a crown and just imaginative. That, all those flowers, love flowers. Okay. <laughs> Little weird, but fun. Love how the seashells are incorporated around the image. Just this one I wanted to do for spring. I just love the little cap here now. Look at that. Isn't that great, guys? Got to. Kind of another one with a kitty. And the bunny. Just love the artwork in this. Look at that. And another kitty. I can tell you. And here starts the duplicate images. So I won't go through all the duplicate, but Gentle Nature by Carlin Douglas. <sighs> okay, guys. I did it. I was enabled. I saw this in Walmart, flipped through it in Walmart, and then watched another color tuber, Jamie's love of coloring. She did a flip through of this book, and I'm like, okay, I'm sold. Gotta order it. Uh, I am a fan of Harry Potter, love the movies, read the books. The books are amazing, and lots of pattern pages in here on Amazon paper uh, stuff. They are perforated, so read the books back when I was in, started reading them when I was in seventh grade. Because I wasn't allowed to have these in the house growing up. My mom said absolutely not. That's because we were a religious household. 
we are still a very, I am still very religious, but I love fantasy and I'm careful what I watch, but you know, kind of, this is in the chibi animated style, which is really cute. I'm not big into anime, but like I said, I just love that these are fun characters. I'm going to try to speed up the flip through process because we could be here for an hour because of my pile of books. And I don't want to bore you. Look at that. Dobby is so cute. For the whole entire hour. But I will have to say, guys, I'm really loving my new camera mount <laughs> as I'm watching myself flip through it on the viewfinder of my camcorder. It is a, I got a 25 inch um, one, so it makes it higher so you can see the images in full frame. So here, kind of. And this goes between all of the scenes from all of the movies. So. The owl. And there's Luna. Just kind of speed some of this up a little more. Said I don't want to be here for an hour. I don't think you want to be here for an hour looking at coloring books, but, you know, everybody has their preference. But I do find that I really like these videos of actually seeing the full book. Because sometimes when you're looking for a book on Amazon, you want to see the images. Just because you... I'm one that does not want to leave a book uncolored. I want to finish it. And I want to make sure there's enough images. So this is the Scholastic Harry Potter. Enough images that I will color instead of, you know, abandoning it because I don't like the images. <sighs> Sorry, I had to take a, take a drink. So this is The Wizard of Oz by... <laughs> Fabiana Antiazzo. I hope I'm saying her name right. This book is particularly hard to find because um, they are not being printed anymore. But I had it's a it's got a poster. This particular book, when I did find this copy, I had bought it used. I was so glad that this one was not colored in. Even if it was colored in, a little image is here and it tells the story. Um, I would have been able to kind of incorporate that in. So I just love how simplistic her designs are and stuff and how she changes perspective a little bit. She has a little silhouette of Toto and stuff. I just love her artwork. Now, I haven't taken the plunge to buy her mythographic books yet because I'm not big on the hidden objects being so pesky and sticking out on the image. I believe I feel the hidden objects take away from the original artwork. So. That was really cool. I'm gonna speed. This is the images that I picked out to do for the month of January and didn't get them all finished. Uh, so I'll we'll kind of speed it up a little bit here. So, just fun. Emerald City. Who doesn't love The Wizard of Oz? I know, I look forward to watching it every year on TV with Judy Garland growing up. And no matter how many times, there's some other look at it, how many times I've watched the movie, I still, to this day, love it.
Oh, there, this one I gotta show you guys. This image alone just makes me think about my childhood and all the fun memories that my mom and my stepdad would take me to watching the hot air balloons when I grew up and just, that just reminds me so much of childhood. Wonderful memories of him. So, he was my dad. Glinda the Good Witch. Just fun characters. And Auntie M. So that is the Wizard of Oz storybook coloring book. Next we have is Fanciful Faces from Creative Haven. This is a new book to me. The artist is Miriam Atto. Uh, this is more of abstract here. I kind of found this just digging around on searching coloring books. Here's the artist's version. Look at that front cover page. This. I believe this is an older book by Creative Haven. When did they? Oh, they made this in 2014. So, look at this lots of these are all single-sided so you could use your alcohol markers I do like using my spree alcohol markers I'm hoping here to invest in the brush nib tip set and I am uh, this is one of my favorites I can't wait to color this I would love to do an art piece that's like that oh wait I have one uh, on my wall. So just fun little stuff here. Great book. Great find on on Amazon. Kind of Speed it up a little bit here so we can get through all of the books. Oh, fun images. Ugh. Sorry guys. I have haven't felt very good. I've been under the weather here. But I wanted to get these filmed so I can upload some stuff for you. So I feel kind of lagging behind where other creators are posting at least once every day and I'm once a week. So I am trying to film enough content. So I'm not exactly sure what all to film for the channel, but I am... I've got one idea of, of like I talked about was starting a draw with me and do drawing tutorials, little tutorials and color pencil tutorials and then I am thinking about doing once the weather gets better I'm also thinking about doing some alcohol ink art too on the channel and doing some more mixed media stuff down the road when spring comes so hoping to do some of that And maybe do a piece kind of like this with alcohol ink and other mediums and playing around. Maybe do some watercolor stuff. Creative Haven's fanciful faces. So I'm not totally sure yet. I'm, I don't want to copy other channels completely, but I want to be able to grow my channel with some interesting stuff. So this one is Monsters Doodle Invasions. Um, this was another enable buy off of Jamie's channel. It's totally cute book by Ronnie C. Poise, if that's the way. Of uh, just single sided. Thought these would be fun to do my, um, my markers, markers, and quick. They do have the black background 
So that's nice. Just all these crazy monsters. <laughs> Makes me think of my crazy mo little monsters of nephews that love to I love to hang out with. <laughs> oh, they're gonna love me for saying that. <laughs> I can just hear my mom now calling me. My grandkids are not monsters. <laughs> uh, yes, mom, I'm teasing you on YouTube because you watch my videos. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but yeah, look at all this fun stuff. Just cute, like totally freaking cute. You can make these all really cute. Like seriously, cute, 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 cute. I can't say this enough. Just fun. So I'll just kind of speed up the foot through a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> um, I could just hear Josiah laughing about all the monsters. Oh, there we go. Play that. <laughs> Oops, I totally didn't show you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible at this. I am horrible. Still trying to get the hang of what to do. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm new at all this, guys. Uh, there is Monster's Doodle Invasion. We're getting down to the pile here. I know, I spent too, way too much money like usual. So we got... <laughs> This is also another enable buy. It's Doodle Abenur. I believe this is German. Don't give me, I don't, I'm not totally sure. But by the same illustrator. Oh, just fun, fun, fun images. And cool characters. Oh, I gotta love that. You gotta love this stuff. What a way to break out one of these pages after doing a Kirby page or an in-depth, you know, page like I've been working on in my Kirby books. And that's only one Kirby book that I've been working on. I haven't gotten to the other one that I have. Worlds Within Worlds. No, I would even get a kick out of all of this too. <laughs> yeah, it's just fun images here. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty with the unicorn. I mean, who would not want to color this? I want to. And again, they're single-sided, so if you get your alcohol markers out and shade with color pencils or gel pens or water-based markers, and if they do bleed through, not a big deal. Oh, fun, fun stuff. Oh, I love this Alice in Wonderland inspired top hat of the Mad Hatter. So, what kind of speed her up a little bit here. Like I said, I'm new to flipping through, doing flip throughs and all that. That looks like Rapunzel's Tower. I love how he's got the storybook theme it's in here. These will probably be some when I do this fall during uh, Halloween season. 
when a lot of people do like all the spooky creepy stuff i'm not into all that and i'm not into coloring all of that crazy stuff blood guts and gory far from my personal taste but fun stuff like this is what i love in fall stuff Very imaginative and fun little cartoons. So, love this style. There we go. And there's some of the other. <gasps> oh, I see something. Cat doodles. Oh, I have to look that book up. And also the Alice in Wonderland book I want to look up too. And it's just some other coloring books by. I believe this is Julia Rivers publication. Yes, it is Julia Rivers. So, nice, nice book. And then we got 50 Delightful Fairies by Camelia and Jacoba. As you can tell, there's kind of a a theme of all of my coloring books. I love fantasy, love fairies, love faces, love, 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 love. So this one is also an Amazon printed paper. Not a big deal. Uh, there are no duplicates, no Thick or two thin lines, no black hairs, no gray shade, no grayscale, no perforation is in this book. So, notes and wishes. Just, these are all bordered. I know a lot of people like bordered. I sometimes like border. The one thing I don't like is when they print all the way into the spine. So, we'll just kind of go from the back here. Just do a quick flip. I wanted to get into more portraits and skin coloring. Um, I'm hoping to do some of that with, well, maybe some like this way. So she's got all different. Um, these are also single sided, so um, that way. We'll just kind of flip through. You could use your alcohol markers. So, to get through them quicker and shade. Yeah, so a lot of them go either direction. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, like I said, I'm new to all this. Great artwork. I love her miniature books, her miniature series. So it's kind of neat to see this one with more detail. Um, this will be kind of fun to do pencils. Now with this Amazon paper, I would not recommend trying water mediums on this or um, certain medias because you are going to get the wrinkle. This paper cannot handle certain stuff at all. This is good for your alcohol markers or um, water based markers because it is single sided or just use your colored pencils. Um, why waste a good coloring book? There's one that's this way by putting watercolor on this or ink tents um, or uh, watercolor crayons, Neocolor 2s, when you know that the paper is going to buckle. If 
that is the case, if you want to use those mediums, my recommendation is scan the image and print it on better paper. That's my recommendation. So, there's another one like that. And I so yeah, there's quite a few of them this way, that way, some stuff. So there's lots of images in here. So I think I've already shown you these, but like I said, I was kind of, yeah. Definitely more detailed than her miniatures. But, so She also does a lot of mandala books and stuff. So that is 50 delightful books. Uh, as we are getting to the end, we're almost done guys. Almost, almost done. So this next book is by Jade Summer. It's called Flower Girls. Again, Amazon paper, single-sided. So you can use markers or colored pencils. So, love the images here. I want to work on coloring skin more, getting it shading right. So I thought, what perfect way to get images like this easy, fun, working on skin combination colors, and then hopefully take what I've learned in my coloring books and my inspiration and put it in my own drawings. And this book does have duplicates, which is nice. Ah, coloring. So this is more, this is semi-realistic, um, more of a cartoony style faces. So. But I'm like, why not? Why not practice? You know. Definitely use your pencils or markers, whatever your preference is. But again, guys, you hear that? That is really thin paper. Don't do anything more. <laughs> so yeah, I think there's about 25 images in here. And there starts the duplicates. So if you mess up, you can certainly do it again. So I won't show you the duplicates, there's no point. And this one, which is, um, this is Alice in Wonderland coloring book. Features the classic il illustrations by Sir, John, by Sir John Tyndall. I ended up buying this book used and this particular book, someone uh, used water mediums in it. Um, to color. And I also had some other images and it's got the quotes. Because you can tell that they used water medium because some of the pages are crinkled here. And they were trying to but, assuming they were testing out different mediums in this book, but yeah, these are the original illustrations from the book. One of those, aren't these just gorgeous images? A lot of pattern pages like this. But there isn't, the warping isn't that bad that you can't, I can't salvage it. But this is another book that's hard to find on Amazon. So. As you can see, I'm assuming that this was watercolor because of all the little warping. But the thing about this, even though that they started with that, I can go in, get my pencils, use some neo, you know, my, um, I can 
relay some satin glaze on this or watercolor ground or something. Water, I have satin glaze to fix this and still be able to color in this even though the person started the page. Well, there's lots of patterns of the original illustrations. It's gonna be tedious to color, but. And then they have all the quotes through. The chief difficulty Alice found at first was managing her flamingo. Oh, that reminds me so much of my sister. <laughs> Oh, I think Whitney has chief difficulty managing her flamingos. <laughs> She's going to kill me for saying that, but I don't care. I love her. Uh, yeah, this is amazing artwork. I just love Alice in Wonder. Now this is going to be tedious, but I think I can manage this. If I can do a Kirby page, I can do this. But, yeah. I mean, for being a used coloring book, it's not too bad. Like I said, there was, there was a little warpage, but not horrible that you couldn't color in this. And I can also scan, too. Scan the image and put it on different paper. I don't have to. don't have to color it in the book. So, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Yes, the, the line, the... <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder what you're at. Do you know the song, perhaps? I could tell you this much, I hate bats. <laughs> See, here's another one that was kind of started and made me suggest that this is like some sort of water medium. But I can salvage the Cheshire Cat, even though the Cheshire Cat, cat was in ink. There's still plenty I can do to salvage. More patterns. But isn't this artwork just quite exquisite? Very, very exquisite. The tea party. Oh, love the clocks. Yes. See, so yeah, on the quilt pages, I definitely could use distress ink or any kind of ink or gel crayons. Now this is driving me nuts, just the looking at this. So, but yeah. I mean, for being it, for being a used book, well, this isn't bad. The header. <laughs> When the new version of Alice in Wonderland came out from Tim Burton, I I went to the movies with my mom and my sisters. Or if it was my mom, don't remember, but we went and saw the new version. Okay. And of course, they all gave me crap about Johnny Depp. Because I'm a big Johnny Depp fan. <laughs> so yeah. You're nothing but a pack of cards. <laughs> oh, look at all that. Oh, the hatter and the hair. My favorite. And there we are. So this is Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. So that is my last coloring book. And then my next thing I want to show you is this I Can Draw book um, by Terry Longhurst. This is drawing all different things like dinosaurs on the farm, trucks and cars, sharks, whales, dolphins, 
flying machines, exotic ammo. Um, this is what I'm going to start the I Can Draw series since it's simple shapes. And I'll just kind of show you where we're going to start off at. We're going to start off learning how to draw an elephant because that's my favorite. I've drawn elephants a couple times. So we're going to go through the tutorials. They have like hippos and they're all simple shapes. So I thought this would be a good book to use and do little how-to drawing books. And then when we've drawn the actual image, I will actually show you how to shade it, color it in, make it a finished drawing and stuff and go from there and actually make it a complete. So they've got like boxers and we can kind of improvise on this. So lots of easy like airplanes. All kinds of fun stuff and I honestly hope you guys will stick around for that there's sea animals this would be good for like mermaid and stuff like that and it should be good to learn how to hammerhead shark um, more about people and we'll get into the people part to Posing astronaut. <laughs> um, here's the dinosaurs in the front. Uh, I've got a couple of dinosaur. I'm dogs and cats, goose. It's lots of different fun things that we can work on in the how to draw tutorials, but. I thought I would share that, the little piggies, easy stuff. So, and then back here is creepy crawlies and bugs and all the fun stuff. And maybe we will end up seeing this all develop into a painting or two. So I look forward to that. So guys, that is my haul video for this time around. If you have stuck around this long to watch it, I am so grateful and so appreciative that you stuck around and for your support of this channel. And if you are a brand new subscriber, hello. If you are a returning viewer, Thank you for coming back and watching this video. I really enjoyed making all this content for you. Love sharing everything with you. And I hope that you all have a wonderful evening. And stay safe, be yourself, and live your best life. And draw. Bye. I'll talk to you guys all later. See you on the next video.